plenty of grip out there at Pekisa. And we got a family affair going on with the two Loreo brothers. They're going to be doing a battle out on track. They're going to try and close down on David Kutsia out front. It's great to see so many BMWs, new and old, just doing battle out on track. That's what the Bridgestone BMW Car Club Series is all about. The Atomic Oil Car having a fantastic battle of his own. And you can see mixing it up with Krobler and Neil Reynolds. Yeah, that's a, little, that's a good little battle going on there for what is 8th, 9th and 10th place. As on the inside, Reynolds trying to make the move there. Could be a little bit of a two-way battle there for third overall. Remember, separate categories out there. But Paolo Loro is fighting with Baggioni for Class B. This is Neil Reynolds looking straight back into the clutches of Krobler. Krobler closing in. And the Mayfair gearbox car, definitely a man to watch out for. Len Henry Gobi, a man who usually races in extreme supercars in his BMW, but today has to do double duties in extreme supercars and in the BMW car club. And he shoves it on the inside, so another position gained there. Brilliant driving from Krobler. He's got Gobi. Going to use a little bit extra horsepower on the inside. Really does close down that line, does car number one. That is Jean Everstein. It's a good drive there from him. He's, of course, out in a class B. Get ready to go now for race number two. That is the massive pack of over 35 cars that now make their way down towards turn number one. And we go on board here with Neil Reynolds. He's in the mid-pack just behind Jimmy T. You can see Mike Krobler late on the brakes down into turn one. Now coming in amongst some of the extreme supercars, you can see it's not going to be easy. That is Mike Krobler. He has Neil Reynolds as he comes onto the back end now of Gianni Giannacoro. Gianni Giannacoro has just gone through. He goes through in Tuni number one here. Oh, he's out of shape. And there you go. Oh, heads up. Wait for it. Mm. Bang. That is just incredible that Reynolds got that footage. We got two onboard cameras out on track. Reynolds is one of them. And we picked up that footage as we go back on board here. This is the replay. You can see Giannacoro. You can see already some stuff pouring off that car. The wheel and the hub just says no more. Throws itself. There goes Giannacoro. Cora. Now watch out, the brake just comes straight through the windscreen of Neil Reynolds there. So that pretty much puts him out of the race. But the flag there does look like it is going to be Rick Lerero who's going to pick up the win there. We're going to have to wait and see who comes in second and third. But certainly I don't think Kutsia has held on to the top three.